One of Microlyzer's really valuable charity partners is TransAid. I'm here with Gary Forster from TransAid. Gary, why, why is this such an important event for you guys? So Microlyzer are one of our valuable uh, corporate members. Uh, we have 30 companies which support us. Uh, Microlyzer has been on board for a couple of years now. Yeah. Um, they give us a, a lot of profile at this event. Um, they also uh, provide cyclists for our fundraising events that we do. Yeah. And we're in discussions with them to try and see how we can use their expertise and their equipment to monitor our road safety work that we're doing out in Africa. Fantastic. And you've just had a group of cyclists come back from South Africa, is that right? How, what, tell correct. us a bit about that event. Yeah, so we had four 40 transport and logistics industry professionals uh, yeah. cycle 450 kilometers uh, east out of Cape Town. Yeah. Um, they raised an astonishing amount of money, almost 230,000 pounds. Incredible. Um, and we've just launched uh, London to Paris, uh, which is this September. Okay. Um, we've already got 40 people signed up for that. Fantastic. And we've just launched uh, Cycle Victoria Falls, uh, which is September 2018. Wow, and there's so lots of interest. Non-stop, isn't it? For Absolutely. You? Um, and and what, where is this money going to? So TransAid focuses on two core issues. It focuses on road safety. Yeah. Um, throughout Africa, as, as with the rest of the world, road safety is a major problem. Yeah. Uh, on the roads last year, approximately 1.3 million people were killed globally. Um, we are working on this by um, strengthening existing driver training centers for HGV and passenger service vehicle drivers. Uh, in countries like Zambia and Tanzania. We use the support from the companies that support us, their technical expertise and donations of equipment yeah. uh, to do that work. Um, the other part of what TransAid works on is improving access to health services. So you might have seen videos where we've provided um, bicycle ambulances to rural communities and, and to volunteer health workers who heroically cycle uh, many, many kilometers to make sure pregnant women get access to, to health care when they need it. Yes, and a new record's just been set. Am I right in thinking for the, for the most kilometers cycled with a woman in labor on the back of the bike how, how far was that it's correct so I was in Zambia just before Christmas and yeah. I heard a story um, of a uh, of a young lady uh, needing assistance uh, while going into labor um, she was transported to a to a health facility which wasn't open at that time maybe it was a shortage of health workers or some other problem yeah. um, so then she was cycled on and this is a volunteer health worker that's cycling the bike so it's a, it's a pretty amazing um, achievement uh, it was taken on to another health facility and at that health facility she was told that because uh, the lady in question was quite young she would need an emergency c-section which is only available at the district hospital so then they cycled to the district hospital and it was approximately 104 kilometers that is incredible and the lady was carrying twins is, is that right i believe so yeah okay so this the volunteer cycled three people <laughs> around and himself so a hugely worthy cause um, and I'm sure everyone watching this will, will see where, where the money is so valuable to TransAid. So well done for your amazing work and um, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you.